is a Dyson Supersonic Air Dryer. Or better yet, this is a $500 hair dryer. Now, why is this follicle dehydrator so expensive? Well, for starters, it kind of looks cool. Also, very well balanced. And it puts out double the airspeed of a conventional hair dryer. Now, does that justify the 10 times markup? Well, no, not really. But then again, I have one in my hand, which means I bought one. Now, why would I do that? Well, I bought this because of this image. Do you see this here? This is a compressor, the thing that pushes the air out of the air dryer. Look at how small it is. In a conventional hair dryer, just the motor is double the size. But in this case, this is not just the motor. This is the entire compressor, which means the motor is even smaller. What kind of motor is this small and has this much power? Not any I know of. I think I need to look into it. And by look into it, I mean literally look into it. I'm going to disassemble this. Oh, there you go. Oh, this one has a rubber. Okay, this one was a little bit tough. Now this should come off. Oh, nice. Okay, this is off. And here is our special motor. Ah. There you go. Like this. And almost there. Bam! This is the eating element for sure. And here we have some kind of PCB with a lot of sensors and stuff like that. Um, I think the first thing I want to do is try to run the motor. That's insane! And also, how can this be spinning so fast without touching the, the, the edge of this? There's no tolerance whatsoever, no gap. This is very well built. I mean, I still think it's overpriced, but the technology on this thing is just insane. I heard it took them like four years just to get this rubber right. So, this compressor is tiny and very powerful. Why am I getting all excited about this? Well, I really like jet engines, and in a jet engine, the more air you can push into the engine, the more fuel you can burn, and the more whoosh you can get. Also, it's easy to realize that if you turn up the heat on a hair dryer, you get a higher output speed. Now, this air dryer is heating up the air up to about 80 degrees, maximum. Imagine if I raise the temperature to 900 degrees Celsius. Well, you don't really have to imagine it, because my plan is to turn this hair dryer into a jet engine. You know, add some combustion into the mixture. Which is easier said than done, because, well, I tried something similar in the past and all I got was melted plastic in the end. What I really need to do is to turn this part into metal. And to do that, what I need is a metal 3D printer. Which I don't have because they cost a Brazilian dollars. But what I do have is a friend named Bob. Bob works in a company called K3D that specializes in metal 3D printing. They have two main technologies. One is a gigantic robot that works like a regular FDM printer. Kinda. I would say it's more like sticking a MIG welder on top of a very large robot that can move anywhere in, in space. That seems way too simple. Basically you have a piece of wire coming through the middle of the, of the MIG welder head, let's say, and six lasers all around it. So the lasers come into contact in a single point, we call the focal point, they melt the wire itself. Or, or, a tomato. This technology is pretty cool but better for large parts. For smaller parts that require more precision, you use DMLS. The process works by just getting some very fine metal powder. It distributes it across the build plate. You get some lasers. In this case, we got four lasers. That powder is being melted right on top of those base plates. You do it the whole layer. The build plate drops down a little bit. Then another layer of powder is being added. That repeats itself up to 8,000 layers. And, and then you got the, the final product. We, we do it. We don't care where, where you're situated. We don't care. What you want to print, we make it happen. Well, that's what I want to hear, Bob. I also want to print this part in metal, if you don't mind. This is the part that I modeled to replace the head of the air dryer. It comes with a built-in combustion chamber. Yeah, I'm gonna send this to you, Bob. Please print it.
Look at this. I modeled it and now it's here. A real 3D printed metal part. How cool is that? It has the combustion chamber and everything. Talking about the combustion chamber, uh, I need to find a way to inject fuel into the combustion chamber. So let's take care of that. Behold, it is I, Prometheus, the one that stole the fire from the gods. You're turning into a sheep. To fit everything together, I cut the handle of the air dryer and I used the 3D printed part to screw it into the metal part. As a final touch, I painted the back lid pink and I screwed it in. One of the cool things about this design is that the hollow part in the middle pulls more air into the flow, what cools the engine and the exhaust. I tried to use an anemometer to measure the exhaust speed, but that didn't go so well. Oh my god. Okay, that was not smart. We melted the anemometer. <laughs> we melted the blades of the anemometer. What are you gonna do now? You know what? Let me try to get this out and try this on my hand so I can feel the thrust. Joel, don't do that. How else am I going to know the thrust? I mean, we, we melt the animal meter. Okay. Next stage. More fuel. Bastard. Let's see what happens to you. Here. You. Let's go maximum power. Oh my god, this is carbon now. It's even more disgusting now. <laughs> and we need a new tripod. Yeah, I think I brought the tripod as well. I mean, still functional. Yeah, so I have a personal rule, which is when I ruin a very expensive piece of equipment, I stop testing. But don't worry, because uh, this air dryer shenanigans was just me testing the water. I'll be coming back with a full-on ultra-powerful metal 3D printed jet engine. In the meantime, while you wait, how do you feel about the opportunity of winning a 3D printer? On my last video, I gave away a 3D printer to the most liked comment suggesting a theme for a future video. The winner was JD. If you also want to win a 3D printer, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, and post a comment suggesting a theme for a future video. The most liked comment will receive a brand new 3D printer. Because K3D was nice enough to print me these, I will also be giving away three metal printed in tags of whistles to the second, third, and fourth places. Well, this is everything for today. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, tomatoes are disgusting. See ya!